I've always heard that to be creative, you need to think outside the box. But I actually disagree. I heard a quote one time that really changed my perspective. It says, passion plus limitation equals innovation. Creativity really shines when there's borders because creatives are problem solvers. We are all passionate about our craft, but at the same time, we are all met with limitations. Things like schedules, locations, and gear. On the surface, it can seem limiting to box ourselves in but it actually brings clarity. Without vision, people perish. So rather than creating on a whim, confused with no direction, we need to have clear guidelines and deadlines that allow us to get focused and on mission. Not creating just anything because we feel like it, because feelings are fleeting. We need to search for that deeper purpose that can help motivate our actions and push us to create more inspired work than ever. What if we stopped burying our creativity in the ground and started leveraging our limitations? What if we stopped waiting until we are ready and we get to work right now, stewarding well what we do have and running after every God-given dream, finding purpose inside the parameters, freedom inside the fences, and breakthrough inside the boxes? There are people out there that need the message you're going to share. They need the community that you are going to build. And they need the content that you are going to create. So stay creative. So we are walking around at a grocery store parking lot. (laughs) Because that's going to be the shoot today. Because you know what? Why not? And there's this nice big field right next to it. Grocery store is right over there. And so, yeah, we're just kind of scouting out, seeing what the light's doing. It's a little bit cloudy today. It's kind of going on and off a bit. So it's going to be a little bit of a game (laughs) seeing what the light does. So I actually brought some stuff uh, for this shoot today. Brought a stool and my guitar and a little box for my head. So (laughs) once I get that stuff set up, uh, then we'll get into actually filming some things. Got a whole little production happening today. I'm about to set up a H6 audio recorder so that I can actually record my guitar. I'll be able to do a line in for direct signal and then I'll also have a little shotgun style mic so I can get the picking sounds of my actual hand on the strings, which should give a little bit higher quality sound. Let's get it. All right. Everything looking good? Yep. Here we go. That was really hard because I can't see my hands. (laughs) I missed it. Okay, so I actually kept messing up when I was trying to record the guitar for this video. And this whole project really made me thankful that I don't actually have to create my own music for my content. And that is all thanks to today's sponsor, Soundstripe. Soundstripe is a website that will allow you to license music, sound effects, and even stock video for your content. I don't want to get in trouble for using copyrighted music, and I also don't want to have to take the time to go try to compose my own original scores for my YouTube videos. Missed it! So this is an amazing solution that not only saves time, but honestly all the tracks on here are way better than what I could create on my own. I've used a ton of different music licensing websites and personally I keep coming back to Soundstripe because I feel like it's just such a great value. The price is pretty affordable and the quality of what you get is just really, really good. I even have my own playlist on their website, which I've designed for content creators and YouTubers, and it will be a great place for you to start checking out their catalog. If you want to check it out, I've got a link in the description below, and you can use code CREATIVE10 to save 10% at checkout. Okay, so we are now going to film some like, I don't know, lack of better words, artsy (laughs) B-roll of me wearing the little uh, box head. Yeah. Just trying to get some interesting frames with it. Uh, probably shoot some slow mo stuff like that, and we'll see how it all turns out. Thank you inside the box.
yo, Sony's stuff is so tiny, bro. Say that with respect. <laughs> Taking over the vlog out here, boy. You already know, man. Look at that frame. Ooh. We're about to compose this right here. With this shot right here. Look at that. that looks, this looks dope right here. Yeah, this is going to be cool. You know what I mean? You want to get it nice. You want to see that line right there? That line on there? You want to make sure that your lines on your screen match. Nice and, nice and, you know, nice and beautiful. We getting these shots? In addition to getting some shots of me wearing the box, I also thought it would be good to just get some shots like of the flowers, just to have some additional B-roll. So for those shots, I actually engaged manual focus. Sometimes just moving the focus in a certain way will actually bring new ideas to life and you know give you different ideas for different shots because you're actually physically moving the camera and, and kind of like controlling your shot more than just letting autofocus do it. So I would encourage you guys, if you haven't tried shooting in manual focus in a while, definitely go try that out because, you know, back in the day, that's all we had. <laughs> transitions. <laughs> what happened to in-camera in transitions? I'm bringing them back. Do it, dude. <laughs> I like it. Again, I just want to mention, like, all of this <laughs> stuff is being shot right next to a grocery store. And it just goes to show, like, go explore where you're at, you know, just because you don't have, like, the most breathtaking landscapes or, you know, cool city textures or whatever, you can still find beauty everywhere. Just chase the light and it will make you that much better at creating awesome content. So right now we're actually behind the grocery store and just checking out these different kind of wall textures and the way the light's spilling on into the wall and stuff and just experimenting getting some other shots uh so you know if you're looking for an interesting place to go shoot try behind a grocery store it could be a good spot let's go so right here just did a little shot shooting right into that corner there, which just kind of gave it a little bit of an interesting vibe. Sometimes using corners in that way is a cool thing to do. Wrapping up, we've been shooting into the blue hour. It's, uh, it's what happens when you're busy creating. You just like soak up all the light, try to use every last bit of it. All right. So I want to talk about why I made this video, but first things first, shout out to Creative Ryan for helping me film some of this stuff and shout out to my friend Riley for helping me mix together my acoustic guitar and add some cool synths and stuff and really elevate it. I'll place both of their channels in the description below. So I had heard that quote a while back, passion plus limitation equals innovation, and it just really stuck with me. I, I really do resonate a lot with it. Let me tell you a little bit about my story on YouTube and how that relates. I'm a huge fan of creators like Peter McKinnon, Maddie Hapoya, and I would watch them go to some incredible places like Iceland and you know make these really cool cinematic films. And I would be you know just in my neighborhood or just around my town and like I can't make anything nearly as cool as that. At least that was my mentality. So it kind of prevented me from even starting my YouTube channel. But when the pandemic hit, we were all forced to stay in our homes or in our boxes. And this really took that pressure off of me to be like, you know what? I can't go anywhere else. All I can do is work within these four walls. So I just decided to embrace these limitations and make the most that I could within that context. And it's really because of that that my whole YouTube channel even exists. Even on this video, I decided to practice what I was preaching. I've recently become a dad, I have a newborn, and so I had to kind of give myself a time constraint. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go out for you know three hours and whatever happens, happens. And I also limited the video to one location. I didn't get to go to Iceland to film, but I got to go to a grocery store parking lot near me because it's just what I had to work with. And I'm super happy with how the video turned out. I think it's cool. 
and I had a great time making it. And that's also important as well. The boxes aren't meant to be limiting. It's really the other way around. They're meant to be freeing. This whole think inside the box thing kind of reminds me of a Bible story, the parable of the talents. Basically, you have three guys, one who gets five talents, one who gets two talents, and one who gets one talent. The guy with five talents goes out and he puts in the work, duplicating his resource to have 10. The guy with two talents does the same thing, and he comes up with four. But the guy with one talent is so scared he's going to lose it that he actually buries it in the ground. When the giver of the talents comes back, he sees the guy with 10 and is very pleased. He sees the guy with now four and is very pleased. But he sees the guy with one and he's like, what, did, what have you been doing? <laughs> like you just buried it in the ground. So what he does is he actually takes that one talent and he gives it to the guy with 10. What does all of that even mean? Well, it's kind of summed up with this. If you're faithful with a little, you can be faithful with much. So this whole video, this whole thing is really meant to encourage you today to take a look at what you have and rather than burying it in the ground, go out and multiply it. If you're interested in diving deeper into this conversation, I actually have a full live stream on the topic and you can check it out right here. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.